Welcome back to my channel. My name is LJ from Anything But Marzipan and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this makeup tutorial of this purple smoky pigment eye. I'm going to leave a full description of all the products below including some of my other products that I have on my face and also I'm going to do a timeline description so you can skip ahead to whatever part that you want to see. If you want to see me just putting on the pigment and learn how to do what I do then I will have it in the description box below and you can just click ahead, easy. Okay, so I'm gonna prime my eyelids all over with Inglot's eyeshadow keeper. Let me just make sure it looks stays in place all day long. Next, I'm gonna grab my MAC 227 brush and go in with Inglot 373 white eyeshadow and set that eyeshadow keeper all over the lid. Next, I'm going to grab my blank Canvas Cosmetics E36 brush and start going into the crease with the purple tone. So this one, the first one, is number 297 from Inglot. Just going into the crease and smoking it out and building it up bit by bit. This part takes quite a while, but it's worth it because you get a really, really beautiful smoked out effect. that same blank canvas cosmetics brush I'm gonna go in with a deeper purple tone number 308 in glass and just go into the deeper crease and just make it more dimensional and give it more depth Now we're getting closer to the fun part, so I'm going to get my 45S brush and jawline and prime my lid for the pigment. The 45S brush is really cool, it's like the silicone tipped brush and it grabs the pigment on really really well and it really avoids any fallout onto the face as well. And now we move on to the star of the show. This is the Inglot 85 Pure Pigment Eyeshadow. It is a loose eyeshadow pigment with purple and green glittery bits in it. It goes on really, really nicely and it goes really well with purple or green eyeshadows. So now I'm just gently placing that over my lid where I had put the jawline. It sticks to the jawline really, really easily and that avoids any fallout onto your face and makes it look really, really nice and metallic and shiny and bright. Then I'm going to grab my 77 Inglot Gel Liner. Um, this is so hard to do on camera. I don't know how many beauty YouTubers do this, but I tried my best and you get the idea. I make quite a big wing. I use it in my waterline as well as this uh, gel liner is waterproof. It actually stops my eyes from watering when I go outside into the cold, which is really cool.
Now it's time to highlight the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to grab my Max Stars and Rocket Purple Duo Chrome Color and my Star Master brush and just going to pat that into the corner. The Star Master brush is are the ones that I got when I was doing my makeup certificate. They're really, really good quality. I have no idea where they're from. I got them through the school. I have a feeling they may have bought them on eBay, but they are super good quality. I love them and I still have all the ones that I got from school and no fallout or anything. So that's Style Master. And here I'm just applying some Giga Back Lash from MAC. I love this for the bottom lashes. It makes them look really long and thick and full. But we're not going to focus too much on the mascara as we're going to go in with her lashes and her shaky duo glue. And these are the 30 ends from Inga. So that comes to the end of the tutorial. I love how this look turned out. I love the purple smokes with the eyeshadow pigment 85. I love this pigment. It's so pretty and it's so eye-catching as well. So if you want to see more tutorials, make sure you leave me a comment below with your suggestions. Like if you want to see how I do my complexion or my hair or anything at all, just let me know and I will be happy to give it a go.